Well, and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Topping our news, a parking lot incident leaves a man pinned between two vehicles. It happened in the parking lot of the Pep Boys Auto Service Store on Bee Ridge Road. Sheriff's deputies say a man was dropping off cars at the business. He was standing behind the open door of a van, which blocked the view of the driver of a blue Nissan. That driver then backed up and pinned the victim between the two vehicles. He was taken to Sarasota Memorial Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. This is Prescribed Fire Awareness Week, and Sarasota County is trying to get the word out on the purpose behind these controlled burns. Today, Sarasota County residents hiked through Old Mayaka Preserve to learn more on these burns. Tomorrow, Sarasota County will host Fire Fest, where people can learn more. That event is from 10 to 2 at the Mabry Carlton Jr. Memorial Reserve at its Venice entrance. Well, let's get more now on a diverging diamond project. Uh, continuing coverage on the America's largest and Florida's first diverging diamond interchange. This is a project that's been ongoing since 2015, which has many people asking what's taking so long for it to be completed. State transportation officials say the cool weather is causing the completion of the interchange to be delayed. It was supposed to be complete months ago. Transportation officials say paving and striping are all that's left to be done, but Mother Nature is holding up that process. Our specifications require that the temperature to be 65 or above for us to put this type of friction or final course asphalt down. And unfortunately, since early December, we have not had the temperatures that are conducive to finish up this paving. So until we have consistently warm temperatures in the overnight hours, because all of our paving is during the nighttime hours, we cannot complete the paving. So uh, we're, just, we're just on hold. 2017 World Rowing Championships with another cause for the delays. Improvements to the interchange were set for next week, but that has been postponed now due, as you heard, to the continued cool temperatures overnight. East Manatee County residents will soon have some new places to eat, shop, and work out. A new retail project will be getting underway soon near the Heritage Harbor development along State Road 64. When it's done, it will feature four buildings and around 60,000 square feet of retail space. It will include a Crunch Fitness Center, restaurants, and other businesses. The traffic pattern has changed on State Road 64, so not only the residents here, but the kind of the convenience uh, retail of people traveling uh, east and west on State Road 64, that traffic has increased significantly, so we feel strong demand is uh, the kind of the time is right. There's not very much stuff over here, and everywhere we go we have to travel, so we're, we're grateful to have something close. Ground is expected to be broken within the next 45 days, and it should be open for business before the end of the year. Let's get a check on our Friday weather with meteorologist John Scalzi. And uh, from what I could tell, it looked like a, a really nice day outside. That's great, great today. Yeah. yeah, great today. Won't be too bad tomorrow either. You know, a little bit windy out there. I think the boaters might have a little bit of an issue today. Okay. Maybe kayakers and fishermen maybe might have yeah. an issue. But, uh, or ospreys looking for food might yeah. have an issue. Yeah, that too. <laughs> By the way, our, our osprey cam is up and live and hot on the yeah. uh, website now, and you should really check they've it out. Busy. It's interesting. Yeah, they've yeah. been busy in a lot of ways out there. <laughs> <laughs> they sure have. They're, uh, they're feathering their nest, all right. Uh, <laughs> the feathers are flying. We have uh, across our region right now some pretty pleasant weather. Casey Key webcam has got a little too, showing lots of blue sky out there and very relatively low humidity, so it feels pretty comfortable. Things are going to be changing. Watch those, uh, watch those palm fronds kind of blowing in the breezes there. It's a, it's a pretty stiff breeze. In fact, we have a lake wind advisory up for inland bodies of water. Temperatures across the region generally hovering around the 72 mark, 71 mark. Sarasota coming in a little bit warmer now, coming in at about 75 degrees. Um, forecast high temperature today will probably be about 78, I'd say. By 3 p.m. will be uh, about 75. I think by the time we hit into the evening hours, temperatures will be falling off fairly quickly. 70, 68 rather, by 7 o'clock and by 12. Midnight, probably around 62. Now, big changes coming up over the weekend, I think. And we'll be discussing that in detail. But warmer today, lake wind advisory up. And we'll talk about actually how that might um, have some implications for our Sunday weather and the type of storms that we may be getting. But we'll certainly be watching the timing of those Sunday storms. We'll talk all about that coming up in just a few. Back to you, Scott. Okay, John, thank you. In the wake of the sexual abuse scandal shaking USA Gymnastics, first Michigan State University's president resigned, and now the university's athletic director says he's retiring. The moves come amid complaints the school had not done enough to stop former sports doctor Larry Nasser from sexually assaulting gymnasts at Michigan State's training facility. Earlier this week, Nasser was sentenced to up to 175 years in prison. 
ABC's Elizabeth Hur is in New York with more. New fallout from the Larry Nassar sexual abuse scandal rocking USA Gymnastics. Show of hands, how many of you think justice still needs to be done? 2020 anchor Elizabeth Vargas sitting down with 19 of Nassar's accusers, all saying the investigation into Nassar's crimes should not stop with him. They've already stripped the Caroli Ranch of any status as a training center. Is that enough? They should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> Authorities confirming to ABC News there is an active investigation of the famed Caroli Ranch run by husband and wife training team of Bella and Marta Caroli. If they were aware and absolutely uh, knew uh, or had reason to believe uh, that there was uh, criminal activity afoot on the ranch and failed to report, then yes, they could be held responsible. At this time, the Corollis have not been charged with any crime and have not been accused of knowing about the abuse. So far, no comment from the couple, but according to the couple's lawyers, they are at an undisclosed location, not in Houston or at their ranch. Also new this morning, the U.S. Olympic Committee announcing it is giving every member of the USA Gymnastics until next Wednesday to resign or the organization will be decertified. Now, earlier this week, the chair, vice chair, and the treasurer of USA Gymnastics resigned. But again, the U.S. Olympic Committee says the rest of the board must also step down, stating the organization needs a fresh start. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New York. ABC 7 business commentator Jeff Stern joins us now with a check of the day on Wall Street so far. And yet another positive week for the markets, Jeff. It doesn't seem to stop. One and a quarter percent for the Dow for the week. S&P as well as NASDAQ up about one percent. We're looking at about six to seven percent for the year so far. And it's not even over. Pretty impressive. We know GDP numbers came in at 2.6. A little shy. They're looking for 2.9 percent growth. But the big news, Intel came in with much stronger earnings. They're up about 5%. On the other side of that, Starbucks came in, and not as many people, I guess, are drinking coffee. They're down about 5%. Ten-year treasuries remaining at that 2.63%. As you know, when I wake up, I always look at the futures, and they were positive again this morning. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is currently trading at 26,486, up 94 points. 0.36% in the positive NASDAQ, 7,461, up almost 51 points, 0.69% at S&P, 2,854, up 15 points, just over a half a percent. Jeff, Walmart in the news again this week for going after Amazon. That's impressive. Walmart is actually going old school. They're going to sell e-books and audio books. Let's not forget that's how Amazon actually started. This is in a partnership with a Japan's largest e-commerce company. They're also setting up online grocery in Japan, so they really want to, we want to use the destination, we want to be, excuse me, the destination for customers no matter how they want to shop. That was a quote from a top executive at Walmart. Amazon already has about 80% of the e-book spending, so this is going to be pretty difficult to get in. But we know some fun facts for Walmart, and if anyone's going to get it, they're going to do it. 12,000 locations, 2.3 million employees, over 260 million customers per week. The first store was in 1962 in Arkansas. And believe this, 90% of Americans live within a 10-mile radius of Walmart. And the family, the Walton family, is actually the large, or excuse me, the richest family at $130 billion in America. Pretty impressive. Walmart's trading around $107. The 12 weeks, the last 12, excuse me, months, up 60%. Scott, very impressive. We'll see if they're going to be able to give Amazon a shot for the money, but uh, I think that's pretty much the only company out there that who can really give them a good run for it. You're probably right on that. All right. Jeff, thanks so much for the update. Enjoy your weekend, Scott. Thanks, you too. Still to come in your Suncoast News, new stroke treatment guidelines that can save lives. We're going to have the details that were released this week. And some schools across the state closing their doors today because of the flu epidemic, including one as close as Clearwater. We'll have the story coming up. The ABC7 Stock Report is brought to you by Sunset Cadillac. On the next Black Almanac. We looked at this and said, what could we do to help provide some opportunities for youngsters? 
So we began to reach out to local employers in the community. The Sarasota Police was one. Chief DePino was one of the first, actually. We've already started to see, again, grade point improvement because these, the, these youth understand that we need higher grade point averages. Sunday morning at 7.30 on ABC7. Motor Trend said the new Alfa Romeo Giulia is hands down the best sports sedan you can buy today. And named it the 2018 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. My name is Stefan Campagna. We're Ben Gates and Dramas, and here is your Law Tip of the Week. If you've been arrested in the state of Florida, the state attorney's office is already working on your prosecution. It's time to work on your defense. So give us a call. We've got your back. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's 2017 most trusted brand, best overall brand, and lowest five-year cost to own. And Subaru Forester is an IIHS top safety pick for 12 years running. Now lease the most award-winning small SUV, a new Subaru Forester for just $219 a month. Or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. Start the year off with big savings during the Start Something New event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Why settle for less when you can shop the Suncoast's largest selection? Get KBB's 2017 Best Buy Award overall winner, the Chrysler Pacifica, for just $24,999. Or drive away in a beautiful new Chrysler 300 for as little as $21,999. That's right, save over $9,000. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Check out MySuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. When evaluating the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, Car and Driver magazine said every crossover should be this good to drive. We agree. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. A 75 degree air temperature dew point coming in at 52. A lot of sunshine out there. Dew points on the rise, however, making it feel a little bit more humid than we saw yesterday or the day before. And that is a trend that's going to continue, I think, right straight through the week and we'll continue to see those dew point values rise. There's a number that kind of stands out, huh? East wind at 23. Yeah, we have a very brisk wind out there right now, and because it's so strong, it's really pulling in a lot of moisture from the east coast, from the Atlantic, and bringing it over in this direction. That's going to help start doing two things, really. One, setting the stage for some showers coming our way, and two, uh, you know, bringing our temperatures up to uh, some well above average values for the next, well, for today, certainly, and for tomorrow as well, before a cold front begins to move into the picture. We have a little bit of cloud cover across the region. We have some showers over on the other coast that caused by the winds kind of picking up the moisture from the Atlantic, slinging them back toward the coastline. The winds, once they hit the coast at the surface, begin to slow because of friction. That creates a pileup of air at that area, and it causes a lift in the atmosphere that creates these coastal showers. Uh, by the time we get into the evening hours, I think we'll still have some cloud cover around. But that could lead to another very nice sunset, just as we have seen many times before. I doubt that we'll see much in the way of any kind of rainfall today. Any shower should really dissipate before ever making it across the peninsula. As we head into tomorrow morning, if you have an early tea time tomorrow, you probably will notice a little extra cloud cover starting to work its way into the picture. That'll start overnight tonight, and by tomorrow morning, I think it'll be around by tomorrow afternoon. I think we can't rule out entirely a few scattered showers developing down to the south and beginning to lift north so that we, we might get an isolated shower tomorrow late in the day. Now, Sunday's a different story. Sunday we got a couple of things going on. We have an area of general low pressure circulating out in the Gulf waters, and we have a frontal boundary approaching at the same time. The thing is, those two things are going to merge. Not much in the way of any rainfall chance around us today. Again, pretty quiet conditions. That's false echo. Don't worry about it. Otherwise, big ridge of high pressure sits over the deep south, providing most areas with pleasant weather today. But as we head into the next 24, this area of low pressure down here in the Gulf, 
and this frontal boundary approaching from the west will team up to produce some fairly heavy rainfall around the North Gulf Coast. It will also increase in coverage the rain shield from that system and as high pressure sinks out into the Atlantic away from us, we have a good chance of seeing those showers and thunderstorms overtake our area as we head into Sunday. So breezy and sunny today, more clouds around tomorrow, and then we'll wait for those Sunday storms. Timing of the storms, well, they're getting earlier and earlier in some of the models, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see morning showers or at least sprinkles across the Sun Coast on Sunday, followed by some heavier rains as we head into Sunday afternoon and evening. East wind comes in at about 15 today. Lake, uh, Lake wind advisory is up through today into uh, probably into tonight or into tomorrow. Uh, we're going to skip that one if we can, and it doesn't look like we can. So unfortunately, I've got the wrong graphic up here, and I can't advance further, it seems. But I will tell you that tomorrow we'll have about a 20% chance of showers with a daytime high of about 77. And then as we head into Sunday, we'll probably come up with a, about an 80% chance of rainfall. Scott? All right, John, thank you so much. Time is of the essence when a person suffers a stroke, and now new stroke treatment guidelines extend the time frame for life-saving treatment. The new guidelines released this week say patients now have up to 24 hours to receive life-saving clot removal and other treatments following a stroke. Doctors say this means that instead of dying or suffering from permanent damage, one out of three stroke patients could fully recover. A new study from the American Heart Association and the American Stroke Association say that you can go up to 24 hours. So that's a much bigger window that patients have to get to the hospital to get a clot-busting drug. According to the CDC, stroke kills about 140,000 Americans each year, and stroke is the fifth leading cause of death in the United States. Well, more than 30 children have died from the flu this season across the country, and schools now are experiencing a significant impact from flu-like cases. All Gulf District schools in Florida's Panhandle are closed today because of the outbreak, and now supplies of crucial medicines like Tamiflu are running low. We're told that it was on back order. Between the Tampa market up into the Orlando market, Lake County, Orange County, Seminole County, it was just very challenging. Pharmacy giant Walgreens saying in a statement the sudden surge in demand means some versions of dosages or of Tamiflu may be unavailable. A high school in Clearwater had to close its doors today too when 20% of the students and even some teachers called in sick with the flu. And we'll be right back after this. Stay with us. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Here's something we bet you didn't know. Nearly half of all cancers can be prevented. That's right, half, nearly 50%, mostly by making small everyday changes in your diet and controlling your weight, walking more, eating less, and eating foods that help you and your family to seriously reduce the risk of cancer. And of course, by not smoking. Visit the Cancer Prevention Together We Can website and get a free 30-day planner filled with tips, recipes, stats, and more about protecting your family. Go to prevent50.org. Are you a food lover, restaurant goer, or home cook? Then check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com, your guide to the foodie lifestyle. ABC 7's own Chef Judy serves up her favorite recipes, cooking tips and trends, dining blogs, and helpful step-by-step -step videos. And you'll love the restaurant guide with direct links to your favorite Suncoast eateries. Whether you're cooking in or dining out, whet your appetite with tasty tips from Chef Judy at MySuncoast.com slash dining. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org caregiving. 
We've all heard how military veterans adjusting to the civilian world may have certain issues. 30. If only everyone had this issue. No matter what challenge they face, Easter Seals is here for America's veterans. ABC7 is the most watched, most trusted news source on the Sun Coast, and we owe it all to you, our loyal viewers. Thank you for making us number one. Marcia joins us now with an adoptable kitty for you today, and this is a beautiful calico. Oh, isn't she Gorgeous. beautiful? Ooh, but now let's, oh I hope the goodness. camera can capture. We've got black going on, we have gold going on, and copper. I mean, this cat easily could be on the cover of Vogue magazine. Seriously, so, so gorgeous. Yeah. Her name is Mirage. Mirage, what a great <laughs> name for a cat. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And she is a, a very young cat. She's three years of oh, age. That is young. And um, she's a little underweight, but she was kind of watching her weight a little bit, and it kind of got away from her. So now we need to put just a pinch more weight and uh, she's absolutely perfect. Now, I don't know if you can see this, John, but oh, the sorry. eyes are gold. There's gold around the eyes, and it everything just matches, and that's why I said she could be on Vogue magazine because <laughs> she's color-coordinated. She really is. She's <laughs> a beautiful kitty. And she's very warm. You can see she's not trying to um, get away from you. She's cuddly. Oh, very laid back. Yeah, she um, is a happy cat, loves to ride in cars, so you can take her if you'd like. And uh, I just I just can't get over her coloring. It was like an artist was just painting her. Really, really beautiful. Yeah. And she is, she's a little underweight. You can kind of feel when you yeah. put your hand under here, yeah. you know. So a little bit of loving care would be in order here, you know. Well, you know, as we uh, ask the vets on, on animal outtake, we always ask them about feeding and the weight <laughs> of animals. And they're all saying, Keep them more on the leaner side, yes. obviously not decimated, but on the leaner side because there's so many problems that are being caused by overweight. Right. You know, in dogs, hip joints dysplasia, are, the knee joints are the worst. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they can uh, uh, what, uh, contact you or contact who? They can contact the Humane Society oh, of Sarasota County and they can dial 941-955. 4131 and Mirage, Mirage will be waiting but she's just gorgeous. She's she, really beautiful. Yes. What a great lap kitty. All right. Give him a call. Mirage is waiting for you. We'll be right back. Oh, let's go to Judy in fact. Hey, I'm glad to see you there, John, and I'm really excited because I'm here at Pho Cali, my favorite Vietnamese restaurant, not just in Sarasota County, but all over. You're going to meet Harrison, one of the owners. Harrison, it's great to see you again. Good to see you. First of all, I would like to thank you, ABC and Chef Judy, for having us today. Oh, my yes, pleasure. Wonderful. My pleasure. Now, it becomes a joke because I do eat here a lot, and they have certain special numbers that I like. Do most of your customers know the menu well enough to order by number? Yes. Uh, we have a lot of regulars, and, you know, they come here almost two or three days a week. It's, ama it's amazing. Now, tell us a little bit about how long you've been here, yeah. and talk a little bit about Kim in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I, um, I uh, we own the restaurant for 13 years, and uh, our operating hours are Monday to Saturday from 11 to 3.30, and uh, from 5 to 9, we offer uh, all different variety of food. Our menu is very extensive. We not only know for our soup, we also offer stir fries and uh, vermicellis and all different appetizers. It's hard to get through the menu no matter how many years you've eaten here because you have your favorites that you're going to see in a little bit but everything else sounds so good and you see it going by it just right. grabs you. Yeah. Now you have a, you, I know you have a beer and wine license right? right. And yeah. tell us what is a bubble tea? The bubble tea is like a smoothie. We have the tapioca pearl at the bottom. It tastes like gummy bear. We have all different variety of boba teas. We have like uh, honeydew, um, uh, passion fruit, milk tea, taro, and coconuts. Now, I might as well tell them that I 
usually asked to come here every year for Valentine's Day. So it's, it's because this is my idea of heaven, go where the food is so wonderful, but people can also get things to go and right. order in large quantity, right? Yes, yeah, Miss Judy, I remember I was making you the lobster one year, and I'm glad you like it. I, I will never forget it as long as I live. I walked in here and they had stir fry lobster on spicy noodles. It was incredible. So Harrison, I know, like I said, we're going to describe all the food in just a few minutes, but, you know, your wife, Kim, also focuses on the intensity of having the perfect dish, the right. perfect Asian duck, even pad thai. What drove you to add things like a pad thai in your menu? Uh, because uh, a lot of people complain about, you know, some of the pad thai, like, are too sweet. Mm, so we yeah. come we come up with a pad thai that's left for everybody, so it's not sweet, and then uh, the flavor is more intense. Well, my nephews, my grandnephews love it, and I was fortunate enough to be one of the testers that got to try it six times before it made the uh, menu, remember? Yes. So I want everybody to stay with me. We're going to come back in just a few minutes, and we're going to actually talk about what's on the table. And just so you know, this 50s, number 57 cured my bronchitis. So I'm telling you, we got some health benefits coming up in just a few minutes. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Around the neighborhood or around town, you'll feel good and look even better driving your new Fiat. For maximum performance, check out the all-new Fiat Spider. You'll flip over the superior handling and capability. Or follow roads less traveled in the Fiat 500X. So go big or go small. With prices starting as low as $13,999, you're sure to find a Fiat that fits your style during the Start Something New event. Going on now at Sunset Fiat of Sarasota. You don't want to miss the annual Venice Orchid Show and Sale February 3rd and 4th at the Venice Community Center. It is the largest orchid show on Florida's West Coast with thousands of blooming orchids on display and for sale. You'll also find orchid growing supplies, artwork, jewelry, accessories, and free classes. Make plans now to attend the Venice Orchid Show and Sale February 3rd and 4th at the Venice Community Center. Go to VAOS.org online for more details. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters Challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. Monday at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Hi, I'm Stephanie Webb. And I'm Ray Collins. The threat of bad weather on Sunday is moving the popular event Forks and Corks from the Ring Lane to Ellington. We'll tell you more about the changes they had to make to accommodate the change in venue Monday morning on Good Morning Suncoast. John? That Sunday weather is going to be caused by a cold front moving through. That'll change our temperatures pretty dramatically. We'll talk about it. Monday at 5 on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Live from our studios on Florida's Sun Coast, this is ABC 7 News at noon. Your Sun Coast News, we're here for you. Welcome back. A follow up now on a Sarasota County murder investigation. The attorney for accused killer William Case has filed a motion that his client is incompetent to stand trial. 
The case is charged with the 2011 murder of Karen Quartz. Investigators say it happened at her home in Kensington Park, just north of the Bobby Jones Golf Course. Detectives say DNA found inside her car, which Case allegedly abandoned at the Westfield Sarasota Square Mall, helped link him to the murder. Florida Attorney General's office issued a consumer alert about a Sarasota-based travel agency last year that forced the business to eventually close. Customers who booked travel through Legendary Journeys and had travel plans canceled due to that closing may be able to get a refund. Customers still waiting for a refund should call the Insurance Consumer Helpline toll-free at 877-693-5236. City of Venice named, is named a Tree City USA by the Arbor Day Foundation for the 32nd year in a row. That award recognizes the city's commitment to maintaining and expanding a healthy tree canopy in Sarasota. The city goes beyond the requirements supporting innovative programs like the Community Canopy Project, which offers trees to residents at no cost. Maintaining a healthy tree line not only improves the visual appeal of the city's neighborhoods, it also increases property values, decreases energy bills, and protects the environment as well. An Orlando man is accused of uh, uh, accusing a valet company in St. Petersburg of giving the keys to his expensive Ferrari to the wrong guy. Now he's suing that company. According to the St. Petersburg police report, the imposter implied the yellow Ferrari was his, and he drove away without ever showing a valet ticket. I gave the keys to the valet because we parked it in front where they could keep an eye on it. Little did I know that that was a waste of time. The police report says Levi Miles wanted to impress a woman he had met a few hours before. He told police the keys were given to him by the valet, so he technically did not steal it. Miles is no charge with grand theft, driving with his license suspended or revoked, and cocaine possession. A speaking event featuring white nationalist Richard Spencer at the University of Florida last fall will cost taxpayers at least $224,000. Gainesville City Commissioners deciding not to send the university a bill for the cost. Alachua County officials sent the university a $302,000 bill earlier this month for its costs connected to that event. The university previously estimated it would spend $600,000 on security at the October event to ensure no repeat of violent clashes connected to white nationalist gathering in Charlottesville, Virginia. Thousands of protesters ended up drowning out Spencer with chanting, and he ended his Florida speech early. Florida Fish and Wildlife officials are waiving the $1 per trap spiny lobster tag fee for the upcoming season. The move comes as a response to Hurricane Irma. The commercial spiny lobster season is open from August 6th through March 31st annually. And while the tag fee for the 2018 to 19 spiny lobster season was waived, commercial harvesters will need to attach new tags to their traps prior to the new season opening in August. Well, a community in Central Florida is being terrorized by wild turkeys. They're a staple in this Orlando neighborhood, along with other wildlife like bears and deer. But now they're causing property damage to cars and attacking people in the neighborhood. Good morning. Everybody has a turkey story, and um, <clears throat> as strange as that sounds, we do. Wildlife experts say as we near mating season, the territorial males attracted to, are attracted to shiny surfaces. So they think they're seeing a competitor when they spot their own reflection on the side of a car and then they attack. A person in the way of that fight could be injured. <laughs> cool. Do you remember, it was a year or two ago, we had a story about uh, rogue turkeys uh -huh. that was attacking a UPS driver. <laughs> he couldn't. He get, there was one particular house. These turkeys kind of hung out in this field, you know. And he yeah. would uh, every time come after this one particular UPS driver who couldn't deliver the packages because of the oh wild turkeys. Yeah, it was the funniest thing huh. ever. Saw so yeah. him as a competitor, I guess. I, I guess so. Maybe the turkeys work for FedEx. <laughs> <Who knows? laughs> That's what it was. I don't know. Ah, right, you solved the mystery. <laughs> That's it, Scott. Uh, we have some beautiful weather out there right now, some uh, fair weather clouds. That's really about all, and that's all we're going to see today. I don't think we'll see much in the way of showers today. Air is too dry aloft for that, but uh, notice, the, notice the breeze kind of kicking up the uh, the winds here on this Lakewood Ranch Wave Cam, showing those uh, brush uh, kind of blowing in the breeze. It's brisk out there at times, exceeding 20 miles an hour, sustained winds, uh, and uh, wind gusts, of course, even higher than that. 
73 degrees, 74 degrees, 75 degrees. That's pretty common temperature across the region right now. And uh, I think that'll be with us throughout the next, uh, oh, certainly through the afternoon and into the evening. Now, look at those gathering clouds back in the uh, Gulf waters. That's part of a system that promises us excellent rain chances on Sunday. Appreciable rain chances, in fact. We'll talk all about that coming up in just a few. Okay, John, thank you. Dozens of shoppers in a French supermarket chain are fighting for Nutella. The chain announcing they are discounting the brand from their shelves. That caused people to battle to get their fair share before it disappeared. In this supermarket, police had to be called in to break up customers fighting. Another issue in France, flooding in parts of Paris. The River Seine continues to rise for the third day in a row. Heavy rains have swollen the river to near bursting levels. Several subway, subway stations remain flooded and shut down. There is some hopeful news, though. No rain is predicted in the next 24 hours. They need to dry out. A hospital fire in South Korean city of Muriang kills at least 37 people. The fire also injured more than 100 others with many in critical condition. Fire officials say the fire first broke out in the emergency room on the first floor of the hospital. Now to the latest on President Trump and his visit to Davos, Switzerland and an economic summit there. Arlette Sines has more. President Trump waved goodbye to Switzerland and waved off a report he tried to fire special counsel Robert Mueller. Fake news, folks. Fake news. What's your message today? Typical New York Times fake stories. The New York Times reports the president ordered White House counsel Don McGahn to fire Mueller just one month after he was appointed special counsel in the Russia investigation. The Times reports Mr. Trump told associates he thought Mueller had conflicts of interest. According to the Times, the president ultimately backed down when McGahn threatened to resign. McGahn reportedly argued such a move would have a catastrophic effect on Mr. Trump's presidency. Certainly, there's an argument to be made that you add this piece to the other pieces in the puzzle, and this is one more potential problem the for the president. The president's White House attorney on the Russia probe, Ty Cobb, responded to the report, saying, we declined to comment out of respect for the office of the special counsel and its process. The president has publicly insisted ousting Mueller isn't on the table. Mr. President, have you thought or thought about or considered uh, leading the dismissal of the special counsel? Is there anything that Bob Miller could do that you would send you in that direction? I haven't given it any thought. But he's also repeatedly expressed doubt about the probe. Do you think Robert Mueller will be fair to you in this larger investigation? We're going to find out. There's no collusion. What is now they're case? saying, oh, well, did he fight back? Yeah. Fight back. Oh, it's obstruction. Yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, I hope so. Democrats are sounding the alarm. Senator Mark Warner, the top Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, says firing the special counsel is a red line the president can't cross. Arlette Signs, ABC News, Washington. ABC 7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher is enjoying lunch today at one of her favorite spots, Focali, in downtown Sarasota. Hi, Judy. Hi there, Scott. Harrison, let's get right into it. And can we start with the soup yeah. that healed me this week? Yes, the first one is the uh, roast chicken leg noodle soup. That's Miss Judy's favorite. It comes with uh, uh, chicken broth and has all different type of vegetables, snow peas, carrot, uh, Broccoli, cauliflower, and baby bok choy. I love it. And what then, I yeah. do is I take the sauce from your freshly roasted chicken and I pour it in the soup as yeah. well. Yeah. Delicious yeah. pad thai. Right. The next one is the shrimp pad thai. They saute with uh, rice noodle, served with crushed peanuts and lamb on the side. And uh, it's a great choice yeah. when you're not sure what to order right. for an appetizer. That's a combo right? appetizer if you don't know what you like, and you can order the combination. There's a variety. Of, you know, you get four different type of uh, appetizer in one dish. You have the fresh spring roll, the crispy egg roll, and four shrimp roll, and serve with pickles. And uh, you have the dipping sauces, peanut sauce, and the house sauce. Yum. Yeah. And now this is one you several awards for best appetizer in town. Right. Uh, it's a pancake. It uh, has shrimp and pork. It has mint and lettuce and cucumbers and pickle on the side. And also serve with the house sauce. The next one is our uh, beef broth noodle soup. It's one of everybody's favorite. It's served with steaks and well done flank. And uh, it comes with basils and bean sprouts and lamb on the side. All so refreshing, and I love this dish here. Right, that one is a grilled shrimp over five vermicelli. Has a pickle, cucumbers, mint, and basil and lettuce. 
and the sauce with it is the uh, house sauce. And I like that you can eat with your hands and so right. many. And the roast stuff, my husband's favorite. Right. It's served with uh, vegetable and, oh, I guess I forgot the steamed rice. Come well, with steamed rice. <laughs> I think we can forgive you for forgetting the steamed rice with this I'm array. Sorry. Now, the bird's nest. Yeah, the bird's nest is a crispy egg noodle and they saute the shrimp, beef, and white meat chicken with uh, brown garlic sauce over a bed of crispy noodles. Perfect. Right. If you're going to celebrate Chinese New Year, come to a Vietnamese restaurant. Trust me, this is a dish. And the beloved, the yeah. ever-loving number 79. Right. And that's Miss Judy's favorite, the grilled mm -hmm. steak over vermicelli. It has cucumber, pickles, and lettuce, and basil leaves. We have a hundred, over 124 different items on our menu. I'm sure there's one for everyone. I think there's more than one for everyone, but I still haven't worked my way through the whole menu. And if you like spicy, think of their lemongrass soup and the lemongrass chicken, really ultimate in all levels. Harrison, thank you so much. It's thank been you, a delicious Judy. day, but stay tuned. We're gonna talk about these fruit drinks in just a minute. Motor Trend said the new Alfa Romeo Giulia is hands down the best sports sedan you can buy today. And named it the 2018 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Rediscover your passion for driving at Sunset Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. You can do something about a crime, any crime, and you can receive a reward of up to $3,000 cash. Call Crime Stoppers with information about criminal activity, unsolved crimes, drug dealers, fugitive criminals, stolen property, illegal weapons. Call 366-TIPS. You will remain anonymous. Visit SarasotaCrimestoppers.com. Download the Crime Stoppers P3 mobile app from the Apple iTunes Store or Google Play. Call Crime Stoppers 366-TIPS. Paid for by the Attorney General's Office, Crime Stoppers Trust Fund. <laughs> Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. Start the year off with big savings during the Start Something New event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Shop the area's largest selection of new Ram trucks, and for a limited time, you can take your new Ram 1500 home for as little as $19,999, or go big and step up to a new Ram Crew Cab and save up to $13,000. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota today. Download the all-new ABC7 First Alert weather app now. When evaluating the Alfa Romeo Stelvio, Car and Driver magazine said every crossover should be this good to drive. We agree. Rediscover your passion for driving at Alfa Romeo of Sarasota. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So this is a much beloved feature that we have at ABC7. It is our Osprey Cam. We have a pair of Ospreys that have been mating atop our tower for years now. And uh, we stream them live 24-7 with high vision, high definition cameras and night vision cameras. And you can go on our website and click on that uh, Osprey link and uh, it'll take you right there. Look how they are fighting the wind. You can always tell a wind direction when the wind is strong with an osprey, or most birds actually, because they will face right into the wind so that it doesn't ruffle their feathers because they have such a streamlined physique that the wind kind of just rolls right over them like a well-designed car. Kind of cool. Okay, we have 75 degree as a 3 p.m. temperature on our day planner with 68 by 7 p.m., 63 by 12 midnight. And then when you wake up tomorrow morning, early tea time, maybe you might see a few extra clouds around, but shouldn't be any rainfall. And temperature will be solidly in the mid 50s, but it'll heat up rapidly into the 60s. Tomorrow will be a warmer day than we are seeing today. 75 degrees, the air temperature dew point comes in at 52. We'll probably top it out today around. Uh, 
oh, probably around 78 or so, 77, 78. And I think tomorrow will be pretty darn close to that 80 degree mark with higher relative humidity, even though the humidity is rising. 52 dew point, the dew point a couple days ago was in the 30s. So clearly we are moistening up our atmosphere thanks to that east wind. Blustery at 23. A lake wind advisory is up for our area waterways. We have on the future cast a few fair weather clouds that stream by from time to time. A few rain showers over on the other coast as well picked up by that brisk easterly wind. Don't think we'll see much in the way of rainfall around here as most of these showers kind of die out as they make it across the peninsula. They don't even really most of them make it even to the center part of the state. Now as we head into tomorrow, I think our winds are going to shift a little bit. They'll shift more to the south east and as that happens more moisture will increase across the region we'll see the cloud cover again but because of that extra little bit of moisture some of these showers might have an easier time of making it up from the south and into our area so we'll put in a slight chance at a shower in the late afternoon in particularly inland areas and also in charlotte county most of us will not see any rainfall tomorrow cloud cover will be on the increase on saturday and we'll wait for this area of low pressure and this frontal boundary to kind of merge up together and move right across the state on Sunday, bringing us very good chances of rainfall. And on that day, most of us will see rain. Titan radar right now absolutely clean as a whistle. Weather highlights feature that high pressure ridge, which is providing us with fair weather. It's a big, strong high pressure ridge doing battle with these areas of low pressure back to the west. Combination of those features bringing us that strong Easterly wind flow today, switching a little bit more southeasterly tomorrow. We'll wait and watch the breezy, sunny conditions today become a little bit more cloudy tomorrow, followed by those Sunday storms. When will they arrive? Good question. The one of the computer models solidly puts us in rain showers by early Sunday and through the afternoon hours keeps us into some moderate to heavy rain at times before taking the system out of here by Monday drive time in the morning. So we'll see how that plays out, but I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, some rain showers around to start your morning off on Sunday and continue on off and on throughout the day, right straight into the evening hours on Sunday. East wind comes in at about 15 knots and the forecast for you today looks something like this. Daytime high coming in at about 77 degrees. We'll call it tomorrow a little bit more clouds and better chance of rain Sunday. A first alert day because of the increased shower chances and the fact that some storms could produce a moderately heavy rain. Rains end Monday morning and then we turn cooler. Scott. Okay, John, thank you. Target will soon offer same day delivery across the state. The new service begins February 1st across 57 stores in Alabama and Florida. At first, the participating Florida stores are just in Tampa and South Florida, but by February 8th, about a week later, the service is slated to expand to 12 other regions across the state, including Bradenton and Sarasota. The setup will allow shoppers to make purchases using Shipped, which is a same-day delivery service that Target acquired last month for $550 million. Delta and American Airlines are teaming up to help their customers. Passengers from each carrier will have access to the other when they're stranded by disruptions, like winter storms or computer outages. Both the airlines and their passengers should benefit if the agreement leads to fewer travelers who are stranded at airports. So do you daydream about touring parts of the world you've never seen before? Well, maybe you should try to open a travel rewards credit card to help pay for that dream trip? Well, Mary Maloney has some tips on these travel reward programs. Think you could get a free trip out of a travel rewards card? You're not the only one. According to credit card analysts at Value Penguin, since 2012, searches for travel rewards cards in the first month of the year shot up at least 50%. And this year, analysts say even more searches are being conducted. Travel cards can come with glamorous perks like free nights at hotels, credits for flights, and access to airport lounges. But just because you get the card doesn't mean you'll get a free ride. The Chase Sapphire Reserve has an annual annual fee of $450 and the American Express Platinum's yearly rate is 550 bucks. Look at your spending and see if the benefits outweigh an annual cost. There are cards that have no annual fee, like the Discover 8 Miles card, but the perks may not be as attractive. Also, no spending requirements before you sign up. According to a study by U.S. News, more than half of people with travel rewards cards carried a balance in the past year. 
meaning debt. Be honest with yourself about your budget and plans to see if a travel card is worth the reward. For Consumer Watch, I'm Mary Maloney. Home Depot is joining the list of companies paying out bonuses to its employees in response to the recent tax overhaul. The home improvement retailer will pay out a one-time $1,000 bonus to its hourly workers this quarter. Now, Home Depot also said it will continue to distribute success sharing payments tied to the company's financial performance. Still to come in your Suncoast News, who's that dressed up as Colonel Sanders? We'll show you which famous country singer is now impersonating the KFC mascot. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. If you're looking for the perfect trip that allows you to spend quality time with the family, then discover the great outdoors on an Alabama Black Belt adventure. Create unforgettable memories while hunting, canoeing, camping, and more. Or challenge yourself on Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail, now celebrating 25 years. And while you're here, enjoy a deep south dining experience. Book your adventure in one of our members' lodges or stay at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa. Start planning an Alabama Black Belt adventure today. Around the neighborhood or around town, you'll feel good and look even better driving your new Fiat. For maximum performance, check out the all-new Fiat Spider. You'll flip over the superior handling and capability or follow roads less traveled in the Fiat 500X. So go big or go small. With prices starting as low as $13,999, you're sure to find a Fiat that fits your style during the Start Something New event going on now at Sunset Fiat of Sarasota. Choral Artists of Sarasota presents Carmina Burana in Motion. Carl Orff's choral masterpiece, Carmina Burana, bursts into life in this lavish production designed for 60 voices, three celebrated soloists, a two piano percussion ensemble, and dynamic premier choreography performed by members of Sarasota Contemporary Dance. Do not miss this lush feast of the senses. Saturday, February 3rd, 4 p.m. at Church of the Palms in Sarasota. Tickets and info are at choralartistsarasota.org or by calling 941-387-4900. Witnessed him have two heart attacks in ICU. He went through seizures. We'd much rather have Aaron like this than dead. A lot of parents don't have that luxury. He can't talk. He can't walk. This is a condition Aaron will live with for the rest of his life because he abused prescription pills. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. When I think of kids going to school hungry, hunger, homelessness, in this land of plenty, seriously? Come on, we could fix this. Help out. Or don't. The choice is yours. Get breaking news alerts focused on the Sun Coast. Download the ABC7 News app. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. It's been a great experience here at Focali, right on Main Street in Sarasota. And to finish it off, we're going to do some bubble teas. We have passion fruit, we have honeydew, and we have strawberry. These are tapioca pearls that are put on top of it. Now you can also get a Vietnamese coffee that has that condensed cream in it as well. But I have to tell you, what you're really gonna focus on here, really focus on are the food items. It is so delicious. In between commercial breaks, people have been stopping me and saying, 
thank you so much for covering Focali over the years because it's our favorite too. And I can understand why. Even if there's a line out the door, the line moves really quickly. The big round tables and what I always say when they're busy, I'm more than happy to share a table with other people. I just want to sit down and eat all this delicious food. So if you have a cold, you have the flu or bronchitis, Remember, it's a number 57 with the roasted chicken. Everybody else, stay well, enjoy the warmer weather, and enjoy the weekend. I hope it's a faux happy one for all of you. All right, Judy, thank you so much. Kentucky Fried Chicken has someone new playing Colonel Sanders, and you may not guess who it is, but it is singer Reba McIntyre, dressed as the Colonel. She's donning the iconic white suit to promote KFC's new products. McIntyre is the 11th person and the first woman to play KFC's famous founder, Colonel, Colonel Harlan Sanders, in these ads. In India, many people lined up to watch a controversial Bollywood film, even as violent protest over its release refused to die down. The producers of Padma Vat had delayed its release over fears for the safety of its female star. Hindu hardliners took issue with the film's rumored depiction of a romantic dream sequence involving a mythical Hindu queen and an invading Muslim sultan. The filmmakers have repeatedly denied the movie includes such a scene. Top leaders of protesting groups have been arrested to prevent a further escalation of violence. Pretty remarkable. Yeah, I know. When there is no scene like that in the movie, apparently. Yeah, just a rumor. All hey, I learned yeah. something today. What's that? There really was a historical Colonel Sanders. I did not know that. Oh, yeah. I did not yeah. know that. Surprised me. Was, is it the guy that we see in those old pictures? I mean, or is it? I, gu I guess it was the, you know, the original that? icon. Yeah, yeah. kind of cool. Awesome. Yeah. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. See you later. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Subaru is Kelly Blue Book's 2017 most trusted brand, best overall brand, and lowest five-year cost to own. And Subaru Impreza is an IIHS top safety pick for 11 years running. Lease the all-new Subaru Impreza for just $185 a month, or get 0% financing and zero down with complimentary maintenance included. That's right, not one penny down. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7. Are you going to talk to Molly? I, I'm looking forward to it, actually. You want to? You have a date yeah, here's a start, just you so you understand. Set, There's been no collusion whatsoever. There's no obstruction whatsoever. No collusion, no obstruction. The special counsel wants to talk to the president, and the stakes couldn't be higher. I'm Alan Cohn. They should all come here and talk around the trapezoid. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you.